Okay, this is just a quick video showing how I have wired up my lowrider version 4 to have 24 volts going to chip on board LED light strips that are down underneath and also going through a buck converter to uh, get 12 volts for a super quiet knock to a fan because sometimes when I record videos, I don't need a loud screaming fan. I have intention of putting a second buck converter in about this vicinity in order to undervolt the LED lights so they run not quite as bright and not quite as hot. Um, but I may or may not do that. I had already mentioned on the forum that I would, that I was doing that, but uh, I may operate it just like it is. So uh, I, I plan to replace this three-way splitter here with something else. Main reason is because that one sticks up uh, so much and the power cord for the router would stick up even more. So uh, I've, got, I've got a different kind of thing on order. But the power comes in and the orange extension cord gets split three ways, continues on into the 24 volt DC uh, converter ordered from Ryan at V1 Engineering. Um, from the DC, it comes into a switch and I drilled out the top of the switch so that instead of this lid being attached by screws from the bottom, these long screws are able to go down into uh, drilled holes in the J plate, the bottom strut. Then I've got uh, 24 volt power coming out to two different sets of wires. And that top set goes to the LEDs. The bottom set goes across and into the uh, power supply for the jackpot. And then after going from uh, going from the power supply for the jackpot, it comes on over to this buck converter. And the uh, from the buck converter comes over to the fan. I do want to show you real quick how bright these chip on board uh, LED lights are. So I'm just going to show you, there's what my table looks like now. And that's how bright it is with those chip on board LED light strips. And there are two strips under there. And if I go down here, you can see the two strips running really across like that. All right, I'm still working to get it all buttoned up and actually try to get some cutting done. Spinny Murder Robot Production, brought to you by Design Aid Studios, um, her studio. Hey, you said studio twice. Obviously.